Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Felsbrunn for the final episode of our Seasons from Scratch series here. Um, yeah, so this is it. We are moving on. We are going to be finishing up today. Uh, what I want to discover, what I want to find out is we're going to sell up. We are going to sell everything off. Uh, we're, we're going to sell our remaining soybeans. We're going to sell our, uh, sorry, we're going to sell our remaining crops we've got in storage. So that's the soybeans uh, and a little bit of barley. Um, we are also going to sell off the, uh, the eggs that we have kicking about. So we're going to sell off those. Um, we're basically, we're going to sell everything off. We're going to see how much money we have made on this series. Uh, and, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna pay off any loans we've got as well because I think we do have a little bit of loan. Yeah, we have a four hundred and seventy thousand pound loan to pay off as well. So uh, yeah, uh, and uh, and we're gonna see if we have actually made anything for our original five hundred thousand uh, pound. Uh, well, yes, I've got pounds, but we'll switch that to euros because this is a European map. There we go. Um, 500 euro, uh, initial 500 euro uh, amount that we had. So, first thing we've got to do is sell off any crops that we have in storage, uh, which is quite good. And you can see the snow on here is, is having a big effect on us. We are, uh, we are going everywhere. And, but... Yeah, we are. We arrived with just the shirt on our backs. We are leaving with just the shirt on our backs. Uh, there we go. Barley is there. But soybeans, I think, is the most we have. Now, the soybean price is absolutely awful at the moment. It is about the worst we can sell it for. Uh, not far off. It is, uh, yeah, middle of winter is one of the worst times to be selling soybeans. We'll be able to do this in two trips with this. So, uh, let's cover that. And actually, how much have we got left? Do we have soybeans left? 12,000. We can actually fit that in our other trailer. So, what we'll do... I think we have a hitch on the back of this. We do have a hitch on the back of this. So, let's use our other tractor to uh, to hitch the, uh, the other trailer up. Uh, now, we'll have to go and put the um we'll have to go and put the sides on it and uh, and get capacity up uh because at the moment we can't uh, now interesting thing is this is the first time we've had snow on this map um these sheds definitely do not have a snow mask on them we've got snow inside of here um but also rather depressingly uh and rather sadly uh, the same is true of Alien Jim stuff. So this is Alien Jim silo. It has got snow inside it. So uh, yeah, that also does not uh, support that, um, unfortunately. So that's not good. Uh, we're we're unable <laughs> we're unable to keep the snow out. Um, chickens, uh, yeah, the chickens uh, have got snow in them, but that's kind of to be expected because it's open. Let's head round here and do this. Now, we could sell off the eggs first while we got the sides off this. Uh, but I'm round here now, so we'll just uh, customise this. So, oh, we can't customise it. It's a rented trailer. Okay, so we are going to have to... Uh, we're going to load the eggs up with this then. Uh, but, yeah, we cannot uh, alter this. This is a rented trailer. Which means we're not going to make any money for returning this trailer either. And we are going to have a couple of bits like that where uh, where we're not going to have any money for doing that. So, uh, yeah. This needs to have eggs in it. Whereas our other, we need to go and do that. And look at that slide. Wow, on that snow. That's quite something. Right, so we're going to load this up here. Uh, let's stop that and we'll leave this here. And let's head up to our sell point for soybeans, which is... Best point is Port Northwest. So that's where we're going to head uh, and, uh, and get rid of this first set of soybeans. 
uh, and see how much we make. We're approaching the port now and it's just the other side of this roundabout. So I've had a lot of fun doing this series. It's I've learned a lot about how to really kind of uh, two seasons uh, with um, with start from scratch. Uh, I really love the combination. It works uh, for me. It works really, really well. So uh, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, doing something similar again. We're not we we are going to be doing another seasons from scratch series. We are going to be moving on to another map. Uh, we're going to be doing it once the. Uh, DLC drops. So, uh, if you guys saw my first look video yesterday um, that I released, um, I think I'm going to do it on MJ's new map on uh, uh, on Springside Farm. Uh, it looks like a perfect uh, map for us to do it on. Per good sized fields and everything. So, we're going to be sort of taking a week's break uh, from this. I must have missed my turn. I did. I missed my turning out. You can't see the roads with this. Uh, so we're going to take about a week's break from this series. Uh, we're not going to have any seasons from scratch next week. A uh, week after, of course, is the release of the DLC. Um, and we will start the new series after that happens. Um, partly because that map also has a class dealership. So we're going to be looking uh, to use class quite a bit on the next version. Which is going to be interesting because obviously this tractor was a lot of horsepower for very little cash. Uh, we're going to have a different kind of challenge uh, come the next series that we do. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, lots of stuff that has been learned from this. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm intrigued to see how we do going forwards. We've learned a few lessons kind of the hard way on here as well, I feel. Um, perfect example of that is our balance of um, lease, to, uh, lease to purchase to loan. I think we could have done that better on here. Um, certainly the, the mistake we made with the, uh, with the combine, that cost us very dearly uh, when, we, uh, when we made that error. Uh, and I think I think we would approach differently. I also think I would. Uh, I'm I'm unlikely to go and straight away uh, plant soybeans. Uh, I think we uh, soybeans, while a really well priced crop, are only a well priced cr a well priced crop uh, if you uh, if you got them at the right time. If you're if you're already well established. Oh wow, that's slidey. Um, so yeah, I'm. Uh, I kind of think that they are. Uh, they're a crop of your of your well established that will then bring you in a lot of money. As it stands, normally in your first year, you're wanting to sell stuff as quickly as possible. Uh, so uh, having uh, soybeans is not maybe not such a good thing. But having said that, one field of soybeans can give you that boost as you go into the next summer you know have have a, a a good way to stagger your selling periods each year so um yeah we may we may do that i have a plan for what we're going to do with the fields uh come the new series uh, i've sort of been working on a new strategy so i'm looking forward to implementing that and seeing how well that works um and soybeans would probably be part of that so uh yeah we will see how that works out And back down to the port again. And I need to take this a little bit slower. Yeah, so different with all this snow down. Absolutely, incredibly different. Wait. And that sliding is just... Wow. Right, let's pull this up. Tip the rest of our soybeans... As I said, I would love to have waited another six months. 
and uh, and solve them off at the best time uh, rather than what amounts to the worst time. Uh, but we've still made a decent amount of our soybeans. Not a ground bake, uh, not a, a massively groundbreaking amount. Uh, but every uh, every euro we we earn from this at the moment is going to make a big difference to our final total. Um, I think our fields are probably going to pay off. Uh, are probably going to pay off our um, costs. Uh, but we've got like ten hours on our tractor here, so that's not going to be worth quite as much, and and things like that. But we do have, we have reached. Um, 145,000 with the sale of our soybeans. So, uh, we're going to go and sell the eggs that we've got now. Uh, we'll see if they uh, bring us in much more. We might get 150,000. Uh, and then we can look at start selling off some other bits. Uh, we've got some bit of wheat to sell as well. So, I don't quite know how we're, uh, we'll do that. Um, that's not a huge amount of wheat that there is to sell. Back to the farm again. I, I have liked where we've set this farm up. I, I was, I'm, I'm very pleased with how our farmyard turned out um, that we built on here. I think it worked very well. I did want to eventually replace the tent with a house. Uh, I thought that would be a nice bit of uh, a nice change uh, as time went on. I'm just going to reverse this in here and get the. Uh, get the wheat that's in here uh, but we are going to go and do the eggs next so uh, let's do this so soybeans corn potatoes sugar beet nothing yeah nothing in here except for wow that really takes everything the only thing we have sorry is barley so we've got five thousand liters of barley we'll put that in there we'll cover that up and we'll turn this off uh, we will come back to that in a bit uh, first, we need to uh, take this off, like so, and get our pallets here loaded up. We also have um, a whole load of silage bales here as well uh, that we might try and load up. Those will be interesting and fun to try and load up. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe try and sell those. I uh, don't know if it's a good price for silage at the moment i don't really want to buy the bga we could can we afford the bga because we would probably get a better price so let's uh let's just have a quick look at that uh we probably could once we've sold everything off uh the biogas plant is five hundred and sixty-four thousand. uh so i think we probably once we've sold all our land and everything off uh we could potentially uh, make enough money or we could uh, potentially uh, take those down there so that might be the last thing we do uh, that is on there that's good so let's uh, do that and then we've got our single box here and the next thing I'm going to do is so that we don't generate any more eggs is we will sell off our chickens at this point so, uh, let's uh, sell off all of our chickens. That is a lot of chickens to do. Let's see if... Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. It is moving them along. So, this is one of the great things about the animal extension mod. Is that uh, you can hold down the button to move across. And, uh, and it just moves them across. And there we go. That is, so 1,802 for the sale of our chickens. So we will confirm that. And that then empties our chicken pen. Um, and yeah, look, they did. They, they put a couple of litre, <laughs> a few eggs in. Uh, so we'll just plonk this on top as well. That's what I was worried of. We should have sold off the uh the eggs before we uh before we sold the chickens but never mind there we go those are strapped down as well uh so now we can actually sell the chicken pen as well so we'll do that next and we are we are making the money quite nicely Twenty thousand for the chicken coop so sell that 
Yes. Okay, there we go. Uh, and we're going to make some money back, actually, for selling off the egg pallets as well in a bit. So we're up to 167,000. We might even scrape. Uh, oh no, we'll we'll easily uh, we'll easily make two hundred thousand by uh, selling all of our stuff in our yard and our equipment and everything. Um, it's then just how much we make from uh, the rest of the stuff from our land. Uh, we need to head to where to sell our eggs. Let's have a look at that, shall we? And our egg prices have been dropping, but. Uh, again, Port Northwest is where we want to go for our eggs. Uh, now, in, out of interest, is that also where we want to go for barley? Best place for barley is also Port Northwest. So there's no point in making two trips with this. What we'll do is we will disconnect this like so. Leave this here. And bring this out here like this. Come on, forward you go. There we go. Uh, so we can now hook both of these up, um, and we can uh, we can get all the sails going at once. Uh, would have been a good way to do the other one as well, um, but this does work this way. Yeah, it's a pity we could have we could have done the barley first time, uh, and the. Uh, and the um, the eggs the second had we been able to uh, reconfigure the trailer at the back, but we're all good. We are. Uh, we can go and get this now. Uh, all sold up at the port, and uh, and yeah, see how much more money we're able to make. And so, for the third time today, we are back up at the uh, northwest uh, port. Uh, now, I'm or Port Northwest. I am amazed that all of our selling has been up here today. So much of what we've done has been at the the, the port southeast. Um, we've had a huge amount of stuff selling there before. Now, I don't think we can tip over our, our, those are all selling. Uh, let's take uh, that. There we go. So that has, wow, that has bought in a decent amount as well. Uh, 3,480 euros off that. So that's great. Let's switch to our trailer. Now we need to switch our tip point, which we've got there. And let's tip that. And see how much we make from the barley. Again, I don't think that's going to be a huge amount. So another three thousand. So over uh, over seven thousand there, about seven and a half thousand. Uh, I think we've made from that, which is uh, which is great news. Uh, that is absolutely brilliant. Now what I'm going to do is uh, we need to reattach our um, straps because I don't want to lose that egg pallet. Uh, because the next thing we need to go and sell... Well, we need to sell the egg pallet. Um, and as I said, I think to get rid of or to sell our... Uh, to sell our um, silage bales, we're going to want to do that at the BGA there and put those into the thing. I don't think the price is very good. Um, for silage bales. We will have a look and see how much it is. Uh, but in, in the past, uh, my understanding is that the, the price is better uh, if you put the silage bales into the BJ. But we'll have a look at that in a minute. So at this point, we can start either selling or returning our leased equipment. So we're going to return all of the leased equipment, I think, uh, except for the trailer we've got on the back here. So let's go into our garage and have a look at the leased items. So plenty of leased equipment here. Uh, this we're going to keep. Uh, these three we need to return. So uh, return that. Uh, unfortunately, we can't empty them and make any money off, uh, off the stuff inside them. But that then returns all of those. Uh, if we then go back 
we can have a look at what we've got left. So we've got a couple of egg pallets there. Uh, we've got... Uh, we've got our cedar we own. We've got our fuel trailer we own. Um, we've got uh, those these pallets. Unfortunately, we can't sell, so they will be hanging around. Uh, yeah, so we've just really got our cedar to sell at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into this. And I'm going to take the cedar round to the shop uh, using this tractor. Uh, because I want to check if we put the egg pallets... On to uh, onto there. Oh, actually, we could just take the fuel trailer around. Might be a better choice with this tractor. Um, but if we, uh, I, I want to find out if I put an egg pallet in the uh, workshop space, can we? Will we get more money for it? Because of course, selling stuff, uh, we will get more money selling it if we put it into the workshop space. So that's why we're going to drive all of these around. It's a fairly short trip each time. Um, but hopefully we uh, we're gonna be able. To, it's not gonna take us too long. Oh, we are just the snow. We are just sliding about all over the place. This, of course, does have a ridiculous amount of diesel in, and it was. People did point out to me last time that this was maybe not the wisest thing to have, wisest way to have gone with this, um, and I think it has cost us a bit of money. But. Yeah, we're going to drop it off here. Like so. Definitely something that looks like it should be uh, connected behind a truck. Or something like that. Right, so. Sell that. It is going to... Ah, 8,600. Yes. We haven't used it much. So, uh, we've got almost full price back for that. So, that's good. So, let's have a look at this pallet. If we can... If these are sellable in here uh then we will bring all of our egg pallets back otherwise we will just sell straight up sell all our egg pallets uh because uh there's no point in having them around so there we go let's see yep uh we can bring them in 960 euros uh we get for them here okay whereas if we sell them just straight up uh, we get 700. So, yeah, we, we, we get an extra 200. Considering the number of egg pallets we have, that is actually a good thing. So, uh, I, uh, that's, that's, that's like an extra thousand pounds. I have the extra thousand euros. So, definitely want to be doing that. Uh, so let's get those loaded up. Uh, we've got the one that we've already got on our trailer and we have two more over here. Because we only bought four. So not a lot left to sell up on here. It is, uh, yeah, we need to get rid of these egg pallets and then we're going to get rid of the, um, whoops. Whoa. That is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Because that has made our job harder with those bales. Never mind. We've only got six bales there, but it's, uh, yeah, that's not great. Uh, we did never, we never planned to do anything with those bales other than um, sell them. So it's, uh, I'm not overly concerned from that point of view. It's just annoying in that I, uh, they were nicely stacked. Uh, and of course now they're not. So they're going to take that little bit longer to load up. Um, also, that egg pallet is not as easy to get at. Now, especially now that it's on its side. We may have to knock these bales over a little bit more to get that. Uh, which, again, in itself is that little bit annoying. So, let's get in here and get these. I might be able to... There we go. Yeah, we can get that from the other side now. Right, and in we go. 
So at this point, uh, we only really need this tractor uh, remaining. Um, we're going to sell off our uh, HTZ. Uh, and we're going to sell off our, uh, our uh, red trailer as well. Uh, as I said, we're going to leave our leased trailer. But we're going to sell off the stuff that's on it. There we are. So just redo that. So let's... Let's see if we can get that stuff uh, sold without having to unload it. That would be good. Uh, but yeah, we don't need this tractor anymore. We only have uh, two items left, uh, I think, in our shed. There we go. Around we go. So I'm not going to immediately sell off the tractor first. Uh, we're going to pull that back trailer in first and see if uh, see if we can tab through and sell the egg pallets. Yes, we can. So sell that. Yes. Okay. Again, tab through. Sell that. Yes. Okay. Sell that. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Right, next up, we want to sell the trailer. 25000 for that. That's great news. Uh, yeah, I want to sell that. And... Nope. Then we just want to back the tractor up. And uh, and this is going to be worth a fair amount. Can we can we get like three, 400000 before we even sold a field? That would be amazing. 55000 for the tractor. And it's gone. Right, we probably uh, we could have taken the trailer back first, but never mind. Let's run round here, and we're we'll just going to grab that trailer. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll take another piece of machinery round while we go to grab that trailer. In fact, with the way we got this set up, we can get both of these pieces of machinery across because this uh, will fit on the front like so. And then our cedar will fit on the back. And these really are our last two pieces of machinery. But we're not quite straight enough onto here. This Mercedes, uh, this, uh, this MB track has been a very useful little tractor to us. Uh, it has worked absolute wonders on this map. Um... And I'm very pleased that we've uh, we've had work with it. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want that folding out. I want it up, not down. Whoa, it is a little bit rear heavy, though. And we are just... I uh, know oh, our crop's actually all right. We do have crop in there, unfortunately, uh, that we will never get to harvest. Oh, trying to... This, so this cedar is a little bit heavy for our uh, for our tractor uh, and uh, we don't have enough weight on the front so it's just sending the tractor everywhere uh, should be a bit better now that we're on the road but yeah not ideal that so it almost feels like it's lifting it up actually uh, but yeah we'll get this in to be sold So basically, I want to try and park as much of this across the cell point uh, or the workshop point as possible. There we go. Yeah, nine sixty, so nearly seventy thousand for that. That's good. That was worth a good amount of money. That we are up to three hundred and thirty-seven thousand here, uh, which is uh, great news. Right, and we want to sell that as well. Uh, that is 3,200 for our front box, uh, which is all good. Let's hook the trailer back on, uh, and we're going to go and get those silage bales at this point. Because whatever happens, uh, we need to get those silage bales loaded up. Otherwise, we might find ourselves in a situation where we can't load them up because we don't own the field. So, uh, yeah, that is... Uh, not a situation I want to be in. There we go. 
go, take those off. Head round here. And yeah, we are very close now. So, this is going to be interesting. Loading these up in this weather. Right, and disconnect that. Just sort of. Yeah. So, uh, which is. How is the price for silage at the moment? Silage price is. It suggests quite high, but um, I don't know. I don't know how much the BGA pays per thousand litres. Interestingly, these have lost a little bit of silage, and wow, this is not reacting well, especially in the snow, to, to having this much weight on it. And this is only two bales. We were going to go and try and do three at once. get the other two here once we've got all everything sold uh, it's it's not going to be a massive amount of time left on here to get this uh, thing so i don't mind going a little bit longer on today i don't know uh yeah i think we're all right on time at the moment um but yeah we are just we're basically just selling everything off uh, but these uh, interesting that these silage bales are not 100%. They're a little bit smaller. They're not quite 4,000 litres each. I think for ease of this, uh, we're going to go and sell these off. Because uh, we'd basically have to sell up everything else. Get the BGA and then go overnight and then sell the BGA. So I think what we're going to do uh, along the more realistic lines is we're going to go and sell these off. Uh, before we return the trailer. This is not the neatest stacking uh, that you've ever seen. God, not by a long shot. I have stacked so much better than this before. I don't know if this next trick I'm going to try is going to work. Because the forks on this are quite long. Let's see if they'll go through both bales. And we can get both bales on at once. Ah, oh, not quite. It did knock the other one over, which will make things easier for us. But, uh, yeah, not quite. So we're going to put this on on the end. And this should just... Oh slide off onto the trailer he says failing to do exactly what he was trying to do whoa there we are now if we push this on here like this this might straighten some things out a bit there we go and we are of course using the forks for this because we don't have a bail spike and actually, this would be a horrible way to load up silage bales because you pierce the pierce the covering, and uh, and yeah, not a good way. But that is that loaded up. So there we go. Last one on, uh, like so. So let's hook this up, um, and then that just leaves us to. Uh, to go and sell this, uh, to sell off our land, pretty much. Uh, once we've got the uh, the buildings on it all sold off. So connect that up, connect that. Let's go sell these silage bales and uh, and see how much we make for them, which hopefully should be a decent amount. But we'll uh, we'll see how we go. Here's the bale sell point. And we just want to pull in here. Now, I just want to double check that this is the best place to sell silage. It should be. I think it's the only place to sell silage other than the BGA, to be honest. Yeah, at the barn. 
which is where we are. So uh, we want to just pull up here. And I think it's under here somewhere. We should just, yeah, there we go. So, uh, yeah, not a huge amount for the silage bales. I don't think we've got a massive amount more um, at the uh, BGA for so few bales. Uh, but that has got them done. So uh, that is actually the last of the individual items, I think, to sell. So we're going to take this back to the shop, get uh, sell this tractor and trailer off, and, uh, and see where that leaves us. Money-wise... We currently have 343,247. So I think we're, we're going to be over 350,000. That's really good. Um, but where are we going to be in a position to, um, to, to have made money on here? And actually, I th I'm really hoping, you know, it's not even been a full year. Have we made enough to, to get most of the way back to our original investment in a year? Because that could be quite an interesting thing uh, going forwards. Right, here we are at the shop. Now, before I sell this off, I am just going to double check that the only stuff that we have kicking around here is stuff that we... Uh, that we own um i don't want uh, i don't want to leave anything in the yard for us to sell that we don't own so we'll have a quick uh, or, or you know what i mean uh, that we uh, think so we have got that that's still actually we own that so that is missing um otherwise it is all stuff yeah so we'll return this lease trailer but we do need to head back round to our yard quickly because we do have one remaining item uh, of our own equipment that uh, that we've purchased that we need to go and pick up and bring to the sell point to earn maximum money for. Uh, otherwise, it is all stuff that is gone now. It is looking a little bit sorry around our yard. Of course, our chickens are long gone. Uh, our... Uh, everything else is empty um it's uh yeah it's quite a sad time but here is where our plow is up here so uh, yeah we just need to connect up to this quite a deep ridge there that i don't want to fall down there we go hook up to this And, uh, and get this round to the shop. But look at our yard. There's nothing else kicking around here. Uh, everything else uh, we can just sell off at this point. It's uh, yeah. Wow. We are we are up to three hundred forty-three thousand. So we have made two hundred thousand in selling crops and equipment and everything so far. Uh, with our farm, we may even make over 400,000, which would be amazing. That would be an absolutely cr incredible result for this. But that, I think, is the last of our equipment. So, uh, sell that. Uh, that's 10,000. Uh, our tractor is 46,000. Uh, our front loader is another five. And, uh... Another thousand for that. So we are over four hundred and five thousand. Having uh, at this point, having sold off everything uh, except for our farm. So we have a look in the garage. Uh, owned I no leased items. Owned items. It should all be at this point static stuff on the farm. So back round we go to the farm. Time to sell off our buildings. If we can get ninety five thousand for the remaining buildings uh then uh then yeah we will uh we will have made <laughs> we will we will have, have not i don't think we will have run out of any money so let's give it a go let's sell off our uh off our farm so first to go is the silo that is going to be twenty-seven thousand. that's that's a great start 
Um, we got another 12,000 for the machine shed. So that's good as well. Uh, 5,000 or oh, just under 5,000 for the multi filling station. Uh, fuel tank for 2,700. We're not going to make the 95,000 off this. But we are actually going to be pretty close. There we go. So no leased items, no owned items, nothing left. This is looking very barren and very bare. Um, there, so we made 49,000 off selling our buildings then. Um, we can't sell these things, unfortunately. So we did leave. We have a little bit of herbicide. Yeah, we got 10% and 75%. So we have at least a full tank of herbicide there. And, uh, and we have a load of lime. Nothing else, though. That is, that is covered. That has covered everything. Uh, so, uh, yeah, 454,000. The only thing remaining to do at this point is to sell off our land. So, we own 26, 18, and 31. Let's sell 26, sell 18, and sell 31. And that is everything. So we own no fields. We own no equipment. We have 983,000 euros in the bank. Which means that we now need to go and repay our loan. So uh, let's repay that. And basically get rid of it all. Now we should, I think, I think we may have actually made money. Oh, if not, so uh, our first year on the farm has cost us very little. It's going to be close. Look at that. There we go. That is the result of this Seasons from Scratch series. I am massively impressed by this. Uh, we could have made more money going forward. Uh, you know, we could have not made... Uh, made the mess with the combine we could have not done anything we have ended this series with five thousand uh, five hundred and thirteen thousand eight hundred and eight starting from scratch we started with five hundred thousand we have made a grand total of thirteen thousand eight hundred and eight euros on this series over the course of uh, most of a year i am so pleased that strategy has worked and there there is still the possibility of tweaking it more we are going to explore this more uh, i love playing the game this way uh so uh yeah we are we are going to be back with a new seasons from scratch series a week uh just over a week's time once the uh platinum edition has dropped um but yeah so this experiment has been a massive success and, uh, and I'm so pleased. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series as well as much as I have making it. Um, uh, it's just been fantastic and so much fun. Uh, and with that, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this series. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.